changes back again. Some of you might have seen the review I did on the excellent douchebags hugger 30 liter, which is now my camera bag and my cargo bag. And when I'm going out and doing a project, this is the bag I'm taking. Without meaning to, they put together a bag that is completely modular in its design. All of their ambassadors make that bag do what they want it to do. Whether it's a camera bag, a ski bag, an equipment bag, gear bag, it doesn't matter. 30 liters, though, is a lot to carry around during the day. And so they decided to come up with like a day pack, a daily commuter pack. And that, well, that one is called the base 30 liter, this one which I have in white. I wanted to get the I wanted to get the hugger in white. A white backpack if somebody picks this up and starts walking off with it is uh well, let's just say that's going to be kind of conspicuous. What we have here is once again one big 15 liter cargo carrier. has two pockets so that you can carry notebooks, books, what have you. A lot of space on the inside. It has a mesh pocket on the inside. It only zips on one side. It only has one side access to it. It has a sort of a hidden compartment here for your wallet, your keys, whatever, whatever you may have to put in there. Let's not zip everything up in it. And then the ubiquitous laptop pocket, which, by the way, I still think could be customized to carry a gun. They call this the base because of, of, uh, because of this one guy named joke or jokey somer who was a base jumper and this this looked like his rig his base jumping rig and that was where the shape of the base comes from like uh the other douchebags that are back backpacks and i think the rolling bags well all of them actually this has the plastic reinforced sides the rib cage to help it retain its shape us no muss no fuss no muss rather um shoulder pads shoulder straps a handle right there to pick it up Excuse me, let's put, put it on camera. A handle right there to pick it up. It's a pretty good bag. Now, I got it in white because the white is... It's a little more weather resistant. It's covered in the, the same kind of material as the sides on the, on, the flat, on the front of it. And that's probably because, well, it's all one piece except for the part where it zips down. But it's a little more water resistant. I also got it in white because it's cool looking. And I also got it in white because, like I said, it's real conspicuous. The only other bag I'm going to get of theirs is called the 60-liter uh, hugger. And when I get it, I will review that for you. A couple things I'd like to see them do. There's a couple things I'd like to see them do. The bag itself would be so much more. And here, let's get the mic in place. Douchebags, I reached out to you and asked you about being an ambassador for you, a collaboration, if you will. I have some ideas of how to make it a little more versatile without doing very much to it at all. And for those tactical-minded of us, we could actually use something like this. The, the Hugger 60 liter can do and carry anything you want to carry in it. Anything you want to carry in it. So those are just my thoughts. <laughs> in addition to that, they have a special uh, series coming out, the DBX Pincental. And I know that's I know that's how it's not pronounced. I don't know how it's pronounced. This was a uh, this was a collaboration they did with a rap artist named Casey Veggies. It's camouflage. Very striking looking. Not the camouflage pattern I would want necessarily, but it's a good looking bag. For the backpacks that are out there today, I think that this this particular name brand, one besides having well, I, I can't tell you how many times I got called douchebag in the military. It makes me feel like I'm at home. But the versatility of the bag is what is driving me and pulling me to them. Um, they are not, you know, they're not, as far as having a bunch of organizing pockets and everything, they don't have that. You set it up, you put in what you want in it. I'm still looking, I'm, I'm waiting for... Uh, F-stop gear to actually have ICUs in stock. F-stop gear, yeah. 
If you did that, I'd actually order one. I don't want to wait six to seven weeks for one, though. Thank you very much. Now then, all the links below, the link for the first video and the link for this one and douchebags will be in the show notes. One quick disclaimer. Uh, tonight was supposed to be a live show. I'm supposed to be doing one right now. And I'm at the mercy of an internet provider right now. And they, for some reason, they keep wanting to change things. The other day I decided to have TV because I didn't, you know, I wanted to watch the election results and I didn't get to. So I ordered TV and it's just gone. Just, it's just horrible. So bear with me while I get through this. We're trying to put out more video. And if you're liking this stuff and everything, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Give me a message. Give me a comment. Something. Give me some sort of feedback just so I know if I'm on the right track. Would you? Could you? I'd appreciate that. Also, Arbalest Quarrel, Lock and Load Radio, possibly AmmoLand.com. We're, we're going to do a little project where if you think that you should have reciprocity in all 50 states, they're trying to put together uh, a petition, if you will, to put, I mean, Trump's already signified that he would sign it. Let's try to get the ball rolling. Email me, and it's coming at you right now, right here. It's coming at you. Bill at lockandloadradio.com. We'll see that it gets to the right place. Now, just remember this. It's never been about gun control. Not once, not ever. It has been, and it's always going to be about total control. Stay safe.